Hey everybody, it's Card Fighter Hunter, and this is part three of my BT10 discussion video. Uh, once again, my screen recording program crapped out on me. Um, I should probably get another one, but all of the free ones uh, are kind of crap and they never work. Just like this one, so no hope for me, I guess. Anyway, moving on. Um, Broomwitch Caraway. It's a uh, made in a Libra clone for Genesis when its attack hits. Counter blast to draw a card. So I guess it's a pretty good card. I don't know. I'm, I'm not familiar with um, most of the Genesis grade twos. So I, I don't know. Um, I know you have like the Emblem Master clone that you'd probably run. I think it has a 12k attacker. I, I don't know. Anyway. Um, so moving on to, um, oh yes, Sutan. Uh, this is the grade two for the superior ride for Dragonic Descendant. Its effect is uh, when you, when its attack hits a Vanguard, uh, as long as you have a an Eradicator Vanguard, unflip a damage and soul charge a card. Now I was thinking, well, what's the soul charge for? Uh, and then I realized, oh, it's for the Charge Goal clone because... Um, um, Descendant has a uh, has a charge goal clone for um, it that is used in the superior ride as well, so that's what the soul charge is for, I guess. So it's a Garuda, but slightly better and also a lot more expensive. <laughs> um, moving on to Spike Brothers, Grateful Catapult. Um, this card is uh, almost similar to, it's almost exactly the same as Dudley Emperor, except in its activation cost and base power. Um, whereas uh, Descendant, or whereas uh, Emperor requires um, you put two cards from your hand into the soul, this requires that you discard a copy of itself. Now one, this is harder to pull off because... Um, you only have four of them in your deck and it's harder, you know, it's hard to, you know, always get one out when you need one. Um, however, it has a higher base power. Um, and also, uh, I don't like this card as much as Emperor because uh, this card does not fuel the soul like Emperor does for uh, Brocky or Juggernaut Maximum or what have you. Or Reckless Express, I guess, or, or Zachary or... Yeah, so any of those. So uh, it's it's a good card overall, but I, I don't like it as much as um, Emperor. Bat and Dragger. Okay, uh, this card is an, is a broken piece of crap. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, it's a break ride for Spike Brothers. And uh, when, when it... Um, sorry, my, uh, my uh, friend's Skyping me. Um, its effect is uh, break ride, give plus 10k to Vanguard, and whenever your Spike Brothers rearguard attacks, that unit gets plus 10,000 power until the end of that battle, and then it goes to the uh, bottom of the deck. So this card is broken, because if you pull it off with the Grateful Catapults or Dudley Emperor, basically you get 5 attacks in one turn, uh, each with um, each with plus 10,000 power. So basically, unless you somehow have five perfect guards in your hand or you're only at three damage somehow, then uh, you're going to be in for quite a rough time with this card. Um, this card is, the, like I said, I think it's the most broken card in the game right now. Um, and the fact that it's only a double rare is really messed up because it's really easy to get these. So um, this card's broken. Not going to go over it. Um, really like the artwork, yeah, but, um, it's broken. I don't need to say anything else about that. You can, you can, you, you can see that for yourself. Uh, Marilyn is the alt art Marilyn. Um, I like this one. It looks more old. It looks older than the other one, I guess. Um, but I like the other one more, I guess. I don't, I don't know. They're both quite nice. Um, Alright, that's it for the double rares. I'm just going to go over some of the regular rares. Uh, first, uh, Curved Blade Liberator, Joseph Josephus. 
Now this is a uh, Dindrain clone for Liberators. Uh, when it, when you uh, when it's called from the deck, Superior called from the deck, you may um, Soul Blast one draw a card. Now uh, this is 7K over Dindrain 6K. So I was like, and and it's a rare instead of a double rare. So I'm like, why do they even make this card? This card is kind of OP. And then I realized, well, Liberators don't really have a way to superior call from the deck like most gold paladins does. Gold paladins as a clan do. The only cards that they have to superior call are Esgrad and Alfred. That's it. And um, and you won't always be able to do it. So and I I don't think a lot of people actually run this card. Yeah, so um, I don't I don't think a lot of people run this card because if you're running Lou's and Marin's and Marks and everything, you know. So I mean, it's a good card if you can pull it off. You know, it's 7K, which is good, but um, I don't like it that much. Um, Wingle Liberator. This uh, is the new starting Vanguard for Liberators. Its effect is. When its attack hits a vanguard during a, a battle that this unit boosted a liberator, um, you can uh, put it into the soul, call blaster blade liberator from your soul to an open rear guard circle. This card is actually not very good, I don't think, because one, you have to have an open front row rear guard circle, and two, uh, it has to hit a vanguard, and um, you won't always have blaster blade liberator in your soul. So I don't like this as much. I don't know what else I would run because I don't think I'm not sure if they got any other here. This is what they have. Yeah, this is their only other starter, I think. And this isn't even uh Liberator. <clears throat> so I guess Wingle Liberator is the best starter for Liberators. <laughs> so, um it's a, it's a good card if you can pull it off like a lot of the cards in this but it's not that good I don't think so oh I miss Tracy Tracy um it's a 12k attacker when you have a jewel knight uh vanguard and, or when you have a jewel knight um when you have three or more jewel knight rear guards um it gains 3000 power when it attacks so it's a 12k attacker um, for Jewel Knights, which I think is very good, but you have to have three or more Jewel Knights um, to pull it off, which is not that hard because, you know, it's Royal Paladin. They're all about uh, calling things from the deck. Um, I think that's pretty much all. Wait, they have a card called the UFO. I haven't even seen this. It's kind of hilarious and kind of creepy at the same time. Oh, okay. So it's basically, if you call it with, like, Dudley Emperor or something, you can discard a card from your hand and then um, draw one as long as it's called during the battle phase. So it's like a law law, except harder to pull off, I guess. Did I miss... There aren't a terrible amount of good rares on this, I don't think. Oh yeah, this this is worth mentioning. This is um, this is uh, liver or this is Eradicator's uh, new starter, and its effect is when it you counterblast one and put it into soul when it boosts um, a, an attack that hits a vanguard. Uh, you can count. You can choose one of your opponent's grade one or less rear guards and retire it. Um, so it's like Saishin, I think it is. Saishin. Saishin. Saishin? Is that right? Saishin. Yep, Saishin. So it's like Saishin, except better, but its restriction is you can only use it in Eradicators. So, meh. I mean, I mean, it's an amazing starter. I think it's one of the best starters. I think it is the best starter for eradicators <coughs> um i also am aware that um j 
Genesis got a uh, Emblem Master clone, which I think is interesting, but it's only a rare. But that's okay. And this is broken. Uh, whatever. Uh, that's a 10k vanilla. I'm probably going to build Genesis. After seeing a lot of the power creep in this, I was like, you know, I kind of want to quit right now. But then I saw a lot of the Kagero stuff, and I'm like, nah, never mind. I love Kagero too much. Oh, yeah, I think it's also interesting that uh, they put Blaster Blade Liberator in this set as an SP only. As an SP only. <laughs> I'm like, wow, oh, okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, Blaster Blade Burst is better. I don't even know what that is, but whatever. So, um, Blaster Blade Liberator... Uh, I'm probably going to do a separate video on Liberators as a archetype, archetype, however you pronounce it. Um, honestly, like I said, I think they're really OP. Like, the ability to hit 31k consistently, every turn, does not matter if it's Limit Break or not. I don't care if it's Limit Break 5. That's kind of broken. And by kind of, I mean really <laughs> broken. So, like, if you have... A, and, and the fact that Lou is in a trial deck is even worse. Or if you break right it, it, hit, it swings for 20... For, uh, 41 plus, um... Plus 5 for the break ride if you decide to give it there. And, uh, then you also have another 10k to deal with. Um, in addition to that from the other rear guards. So, honestly, I think Liberators are really, really, really underestimated. Um, if, I've, I've played against them quite a bit in card fight area. And it's kind... It, it's, it's an insane deck. Like, everyone in card fight area, almost, almost everyone either plays Eradicators or Alfreds. I've seen very few decks that are not Liberators or Eradicators. So I said, did I say Liberators or Alfreds? Le Liberators or Eradicators, sorry. Anyway, um... I did, this card's ridiculous. This card is really ridiculous. So, um, just my thoughts on this. It's really, really broken. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, as we get closer to uh, BT11 and uh, EB6, uh, I'll probably be doing deck or set discussions on those. And speaking of, today's card uh, is the Cross Ride for Pacifica. Which uh, I'm going to go to because I, I don't think I've seen what her effect is. Counterblast 3 when it attacks a vanguard. Put two of your Bermuda rear guards to your hand. And then search your deck for one Bermuda to put it a rear guard. And um, shuffle your deck. Wow, that's pretty good. And it's a cross ride, of course. Um, I think this card's very, very good. Very, very, very good. Um... Because so basically, it gives you two cards to um, attack with. So basically, it, it allows you to put on put triggers or perfect guards on the field and then return them to your uh, hand. That and the 13k base power. I think this card is very, very good. I, th I wouldn't say it's broken, but I would say it's very, very good. And uh, honestly, I'll probably run this because I really like the art and I really like the effects. And I always like Pacifica. And I was very excited when I heard that um, she was getting a cross ride, even though I had no idea what it did. So, um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, bye.